Hello and welcome to this episode of Key Sessions, the programme that showcases the best and brightest upcoming acts from the North West. I'm Lucy Hill and on today's show we have the soulful indie power pop trio Dakota Avenue from Manchester with their first track, Skin. Absolutely brilliant song, got some real cool indie vibes there. Now on to their next track, Temptress. My head is a temptress. I talked to yesterday, I think I'm feeling fine. My head's in overdrive, now my eyes are dried up. Can't promise I won't lie that I can't see a way we're working out this time. Oh, 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 Space to go Starting wars is 
Now let's take a sneak peek and find out more about the band and their music, followed by the next track, Get In The Shower. I'm Jacob and I'm frontman. I'm Andy and I'm the bass player. Uh, and I'm Frank and I play drums. Uh, I went to college in Media City and the college that I was on is addressed Dakota Avenue and I thought it was a good name, I thought it was a better name than South Langwavy Road, so <laughs> I was like, sounds all right. <laughs> and, and standing room only. Oh God, yeah, that's a terrible name. Oh. How wouldn't you describe the genre? Well, <laughs> I don't really know. It's, it's like simply alternative indie rock, basically. I would just say that, yeah, I think yeah. that's it. It just do it does generally fall into that category of just indie rock. Yeah, um, but I wouldn't. Obviously, I think if, you, if you see us live, you'd maybe be more inclined to say rock. Mm. But I it's think been with the like production that we went for. The saying indie's been really bastardized over like the past kind of, I don't know, a couple of years, where it's just like the biggest, most diverse genre. But people kind of see it as if you're indie, you are the core team is. Yeah, <laughs> or Oasis, or that is it. So, Should we be but we are talking? indie rock. Uh, very simply, I lived with my best friend in second year. Um, he wasn't in a very good place in his life. And um, <coughs> I remember one time I came in after a night out and he was just in the shower, sat on the floor, really upset, sad about things. And he's like, but he always used to just get into the shower every time he felt bad about something or every time he felt upset and he would stand in the shower for about five hours it was ridiculous um, but I suppose it was massively inspired by that and I, I liked I kind of liked that I was like true it's true like if I'm feeling crap it's like right, let's just get in let's go have a bath or let's get in the shower or something like that and I'll feel better my mum's always said that to me and I suppose the rest of it's quite fictional I, I don't know I, I tend to Apart be inspired the by you, the owing you money thing is definitely not fictional <laughs> yeah it did owe me a little bit of money does he even know that song's about <laughs> Yeah, and he's quite proud of it, to be honest. <laughs> Bless him. But, um, it's just outright slander, though, isn't it? No, but I like that's why I always try and say, like, I've got so, like so many songs which just end up really sassy and, like, angry or whatever, but it's, it is quite fictional. Like, it starts from something real, but then it ends up completely fictional, and I have to try and beg that person to understand that that is not all about them. It started from an idea <laughs> and it ended up becoming this fictional kind of thing, so. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be something that I'm gonna struggle with moving forward, because I know you have to give your songs away. Like, but, but then also you release, when you're releasing this, when you're releasing a song to the public, like for people to listen to, you're, 
you really you're giving it away then. But that's in a different way, you, you know. And I don't know. Yeah, I do feel connected to the songs. Yeah, definitely. So about I bet you two feel connected to the songs. It's just it's when you Probably become so. a huge part of the growth of something like that, mm -hmm. you know. It's your baby, isn't it? It is. It's our baby, boys. <laughs> Yeah, I I would just say um, it's as we talked about. It's hard for young bands to break through because uh, he, you know, limited money, limited all these things, and everyone who's showing support is literally showing so so much support. And it's just if you're seeing this and you're not following us and you like the music, give us a give us a like, join the mailing list, whatever, and join join the mailing list or the Facebook group or, or some way we can let you know that there's something going on and and try and grow it. Join the Dakota Raven crew. Oh, that was completely unreal. <laughs> <laughs>Finally, Dakota Avenue will play their next track, Slap Me Silly.
ashamed to run so must possess the capacity to let me in and listen to the reasons why we're here Take this further My brain's gone for a walk And seize the day I should probably follow I'm calling on a perfect person Someone who doesn't act or think like me Somebody that'll slap me silly Somebody that'll slap me To the max, the same as all my friends, they feed us all that toxins, tax, lies. Slap is all silly I'm 